Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you the easy way how you can install OTT player to your Fire Stick or Android TV. So first of all, you have to get an app called Unloader. You can get it for free from your official Amazon App Store or Google Play Store, depending on what device you use. So just go to search on your device. Here it is. And here in the search bar, we have to type the loader. So let's do it. And here is the loader already popped out for us at the bottom. Now click on it. And that's the application which you need to get to your device. However, that's not it. We still have to set it up. And to do it, we have to go to settings on our device. Here it is. Then scroll down, go to My Fire TV. And here we'll have to enable developer options for our device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now what you have to do is click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see now the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, and then go to install unknown apps, and here turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is, click on it. And here we have the loader, which we just installed to our Fire Stick. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks, and they are not expensive for such a premium service. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, and from the moment you connect, all your internet traffic is going to be encrypted and totally secure. It means nobody is going to be able to track you or snoop on you online, and your internet provider won't be able to know what apps you are downloading or what videos you are streaming online. And that's extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble online these days. And if you don't have a VPN yet, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video, you'll get 4 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing deal. So go get that offer with 4 months for free and then use the loader safely. Now let's finally open the loader. On the left side menu, make sure to select Home. And then in that search bar, we'll have to type Aptoid TV. You'll see the exact search request on your screen in a moment. So just enter Aptoid TV as you see on the screen and then click on Go. Then when the search results load, you have to click on that link, tv.aptoid.com. Click on it. And then the official website of Aptoid TV is going to open. Aptoid TV is an alternative app store which you can use on your Fire Stick or your Android TV and we'll use Aptoid TV to get OTT player to your Fire Stick. Here, click on Download Aptoid TV, and now in a couple of seconds, the download is going to start. Yep, here it is, and usually it does not take long. Click on Install here in the right bottom corner, and after the app gets installed, do not press on Open yet, instead click on Done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as you don't need it anymore. So click on Done, and then click on Delete, and delete once again. Now we have deleted the installation file of Aptoid TV. And before using it, we have to go to settings once again. So here they are, click on them. Then go down to My Fire TV, open developer options, go to install unknown apps, and just turn that option on for Aptoid TV so we could use it to download OTT player to your device. Now let's go to the list of applications on your Fire Stick. Here it is. Scroll down and at the bottom you'll find Aptoid TV app. Let's open it. Click OK here. You have to allow access because otherwise you would not be able to download other applications to your Fire Stick. Then when the app loads on the left side menu, go to search and in the search bar just type OTT player. Here we go, just type it, click on next. And then the OTT player is going to appear right here. Click on it. Click on Install, 
And then in a couple of seconds, the OTT player is going to be installed to your Fire Stick. Now we can go to the list of apps on your device and you'll find OTT player right here. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way, OTT player app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be very easy to access it every time you need it. Then once again, don't forget to use a VPN when streaming something online and the link to a great offer for NordVPN as well as 4 months of subscription totally for free is going to be in the pinned comment below this video. Then let's open OTT player app. You need to click on start here and then you can either sign in if you have an account, sign up if you don't or import a playlist. If you want to just add a playlist, you would click on add and from here you can click on direct link and here you just enter your M3U link to the IPTV service or you can upload it as a file right here. To do so, you would need to have your playlist saved as a file on your Fire Stick device. There's also an option to open settings and change some of the settings in this application. All in all, it's pretty straightforward and adding the playlist is really easy. Hope the video is helpful and see you next time. Bye bye.